research, write, optimize, and rank a blog post all in one place using Keyword Hero. Keyword Hero is a fairly new but all-in-one platform which allows you to do everything from researching to optimizing and writing your blog posts all on one platform. So I found this tool on AppSumo. It is a fairly new tool, so there is a lifetime deal. If you want to check out that lifetime deal, I'll leave a link for it in the description below today's video. But the way that you use Keyword Hero is pretty simple. We first want to start by entering the keyword in which you're trying to go after. We can enter a broad term keyword or the niche in which we're in. And as you can see here, we will be able to get some nice keyword ideas. We'll be able to see the CPC, the volume, and then the difficulty. And once you click on that keyword, then you'll also get a competitive overview of that keyword to see how hard or how profitable that keyword is. Now, profitability is going to be a very, 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 very important metric because it allows you to kind of find a balance between easy to rank for keywords and keywords that you can actually um, you can actually monetize and make money from. We could also filter by keyword difficulty or monthly searches in order to find easier to rank for keywords. So let's say, for example, we want, only want to find a keyword with a difficulty of 50 or above, then we can enter that filter. As you can see here, we will be then be able to find easier to rank for keywords. We can reduce this even more to, let's say, 10. And let's see how many keywords we can find. So right here, we find some easy to rank for keywords, but of course, the volume may not be the highest. So you need to kind of find a balance between low difficulty keywords and keywords that actually have a search volume in which you can write about. For example, let's say I'm in the roofing niche. I can search up that keyword and I went ahead and reduced the difficulty to 30. And as you can see here, we find some pretty good keywords in which we can go after. So for example, cordless roofing nailer, ladder hooks for roofing, and so on. These are all really good keywords in which we can write about. So let's say, for example, we wanted to write about ladder hooks for roofing. Again, I can click on that keyword. We see that it's easy to rank for, and we see that it's a very profitable keyword to go after. So now we can go ahead and click that, and then we can add it to a content plan. So let's go ahead and create a new content plan. Okay, so we've added that keyword to our content plan. So now we can head over to content creation, and now we can create an article on ladder hooks for roofing and click analysis and the content analysis will start to um, be created. So essentially it's going to go ahead and take all of the most important information about that keyword. And then we'll be able to get some recommendations in which we can follow to rank for that specific keyword. So once it's completed, you can click on the analysis mode and you'll be able to see the content analysis for that specific keyword. Now, a big reason why I like Keyword Hero is that I've used it before and they're actually really good in terms of using AI into actually creating the content. New and Writer is really good at getting research, but it's not the best when it comes to actually writing the content. So for example, if you did want to, you can go ahead and write the content yourself on ChatGPT, pop it into Keyword Hero, or we can simply go ahead and create an AI outline using the AI writer. This will save you a lot of time because again, you don't have to go out and manually write the content and you can simply pop it into Keyword Hero and Keyword Hero already knows what it needs to include within the article. So it will go ahead and include that information for you. So now, as you can see here, we have the full outline. It took us a couple of seconds to get that outline. We can go ahead and see the hierarchy of the outline. We can see the H1s, the H2s, H3s, H4s, and so on. So you can see that it is a very um, optimized outline that we can start using. So once we have our outline, we can then go ahead and use the AI content writer and the AI content writer will go ahead and start writing our content. So we have some options here. We can change the tone of voice. We can change the content level. We can change the purpose or the um, third person perspective. We can also enter NLP optimization. We can ask it to scrape fresh content um, from the internet. And we can also ask it to pass AI detection, but for now, I'm going to leave this at no, because I know that sometimes that can really mess up the output quality. Let's go ahead and write the content. But unfortunately, it's saying that I've reached my subscription limit. So I do have a tier one, but it seems as though the tiers when it comes to writing is very, very limited. So you have about four or five credits and an outline is one or two credits and writing the full outline or writing the full article is four credits. So I've already used two of my five credits and I guess I need four instead of three to write the full article, which is kind of disappointing because you would like a little bit more limits, especially when it comes to writing content, because you will be writing a lot of content if you are using a tool like this. So simply what I can do now is I can copy over the outline, head over to the playground mode, 
For this example, we'll be using Gemini AI to write the full article, but you can use whichever AI writer you like the best. So I've told Gemini that you are an expert blog post writer. I want you to write the outline below and write an in-depth SEO optimized article. Write in a simple and easy to read tone. Da -da -da, follow all of the best SEO practices. And then I went ahead and I included the target keyword in which we're going after. And I also went ahead and included the outline. So let's go ahead and see the article in which we're able to get back. So this is cool, as you can see here, that um, Gemini was actually able to grab an image of a product from Google. And that's kind of going to be the, the advantage that Gemini is going to have, is that it has access to Google and it has the ability to scrape the live internet. So let's go ahead and now copy over this content and see how it does in terms of SEO optimization. So I have went ahead and pasted in the content that we got back from Gemini. And what I added in that I didn't show you guys, I added in the heading terms and the content terms. So essentially, I told the AI to make sure to include these headings and these uh, content terms within the article naturally. And it actually did a pretty decent job. We were able to, as you can see, include all of those content terms. And we just need to make sure that the heading terms have been added in. So actually, I think it just didn't um, actually make the h1s or the h2 so when we go ahead and manually do that we should be able to get a much more optimized um, article so let's go ahead and we're going to make our h1s we're going to make our h2s and as you can see here we should have a pretty decent content score so we're already at a 74 so what we can do is we can then go ahead and manually make sure that um, our headings are added so for example this should be a heading as well so we can make this an h2 and we're already at a content score of 80 out of 100, which is pretty good for this article. We've hit most of the key metrics. We've also went ahead and included most of those key terms. And um, when you're writing the content, you can either write the content manually using ChatGPT or using Gemini, or you can use the AI content writer included in Keyword Hero. Maybe I will do another review when I'm able to use the AI content writer to see how it compares with writing your own content versus using Keyword Hero to write the content. But overall, I would say that this is a very, very solid tool. I would recommend that you go out and give it a try, especially because there is a lifetime deal on AppSumo. So that means that you just pay one time, you wouldn't have to pay monthly, and you'll be able to have access to this tool forever. So if you want to check it out, again, I'll leave a link for Keyword Hero in the description below today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.